Good morning. I'm Jeff Motes here in the KFOR newsroom as we continue to monitor the latest forecasting information about potential for severe weather later today and into tonight over much of southeast Nebraska, including Lincoln and Lancaster County. Uh, we are still monitoring some activity that could potentially be developed here as we head toward the latter part of the afternoon. And of course, as we do that, we're looking at the latest models and weather information that uh, we can gather here in terms of um, what we can get for uh, the potential for severe weather here later on today. Now, as we uh, look at everything in perspective here, as uh, KFOR Doppler radar is concerned, uh, nothing activity-wise happening at the moment, but let's uh, get you caught up here on what we're seeing in terms of um, the forecast map for today. That would include uh, much of East Central and Southeast Nebraska. And there you could see here on the map, uh, we're in the enhanced risk area. That's the orange shade. So Lincoln right about in here, Omaha up here. And then right across the Missouri rivers, you get toward Council Bluffs and points north and east uh, up toward the Iowa-Minnesota border is a moderate risk for severe weather. So that's kind of the target area where the Storm Prediction Center out of Norman, Oklahoma is thinking that the greatest tornado threat will be for today. Uh, we could still see the possibility of tornadoes here in our area uh, really close to that particular moderate area for uh, dangerous weather conditions later. But again, we're in the enhanced risk here. As I lay the cities over the top here, there you can see uh, Lincoln, Omaha right there, and just, just across the river, that moderate risk area. It's just to the northwest of Des Moines, around Ames, up toward the border with Minnesota, Council Bluffs included as well, and some other smaller communities in northwest and north central Iowa under the gun. And originally, the enhanced risk was all the way down connected from our area down to Texas, but it's broken up into two areas so that they think they being the storm prediction center out of Norman, Oklahoma, they think that this area here that I'm pointing at here on my cursor uh, is indicating that where the greatest tornado threat, wind threat, definitely and hail threat as well uh, will be as we head in toward the afternoon hours. There you see the tornado threat and there's that 15% shade there in the red that's over north central iowa uh, where they're expecting more dangerous weather conditions lincoln is right on the periphery of the at that 10 percent range omaha's in that 10 percent area so is des moines and of course it goes into southeast nebraska and extreme northeast kansas and far northwest missouri the wind threat there you see the greatest wind threat right there in the pink shade uh, from about the omaha area to des moines up toward the Iowa, Minnesota border, 30%. That's where Lincoln is at. That goes down into Kansas. And then the hail threat. Look at the hail core threat, 45% over north central Iowa. Lincoln's in that 30% category. So we're expected to see some, some significant weather uh, in terms of um, the forecast here later on today and into tonight. Now, as we look at uh, the latest uh, radar scope here, kind of a refresher here in uh, to give you an idea of what we're looking at as far as activity, there's really nothing right now on the wide range look. There's a little tiny area of development north of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, but other than that, all is quiet on the western front here, at least for the time being. But that all depends on what happens with the ingredients for uh, severe weather here later on today, which means that if we do see sunshine here getting in toward the early to middle part of the afternoon, that's going to add fuel to the fire. Temperatures will soar into the 80s. And that's going to cause a lot more instability. And if that breaks the cap in the atmosphere, then we're definitely going to be seeing some very dangerous weather conditions here this afternoon and into tonight. Two phases, four to six o'clock this afternoon could be the first initial set of um, severe storms that develop. And uh, those could be quick and moving in and out of our area here within a short amount of time. The other one would be about eight o'clock or so tonight where a line could develop along the cold front. So the initial storms late in the afternoon would be ahead of the dry line. Uh, the next batch by later in the evening would be along the cold front expected to move through our area. First thing is first, keep an eye to the sky if you're going to be out tonight, especially for any track meets, local baseball games. If you're going to the Nebraska Creighton baseball game at Haymarket Park tonight in particular, or the Nebraska softball game, that doubleheader, which is now going to start at three this afternoon because of the weather with Iowa. Uh, keep an eye to the sky. That's one thing you need to do. Be weather aware. Keep an eye to the sky. Also, keep it tuned to KFOR FM 103.3, 1240 AM, and on our web stream at kfornow.com. Text warning to 88474 for severe weather text alerts from KFOR, letting you know about the latest weather information. From the KFOR newsroom, I'm Jeff Motes.